You take the fifth chapter of Genesis and you'll see the list of all those men that lived to be old men. Adam lived 930 years, but he died. Methuselah lived 969 years, but he died. I read about a man the other day in Brazil that they claim lived 134 years, but he died. How often do you At the end of every life is death. I couldn't answer how often. I suppose I think about it uh, quite a bit, like everybody else. I think we're all conscious that this life is very temporary and it's very short. The older you get, the shorter it seems. It seems just yesterday that I was milking cows uh, for my father on the farm. We're all facing death and we all better get worried about it and be sure we're right with God so we're ready for that day of judgment that's going to come. Now the great question is, are you ready to meet God? Because the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die, but after that, the judgment. There is something after death according to this book. Now again, I say I can't take you to a scientific laboratory and prove it to you. But this book teaches from Genesis to Revelation that this life is only a preparation room for eternity. What do you hope they'll say? I don't want them to say big things about me because I don't deserve them. I want to hear one person say something nice about me, and that's the Lord. When I face him, I want him to say to me, well done, thou good and faithful servant. At the end of every life is death. I have a tremendous amount of hope uh, because I'm a, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ who was raised from the dead, and I believe he's alive right now. My wife is already in heaven. I look forward to seeing her definitely in the near future because I'm 92 now and I know that my time is limited on this earth, but I have tremendous hope in the fact I'll be in the future life and I'll be there because of what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross and by the resurrection. There is another life. The Old Testament teaches it, the New Testament teaches it, Jesus taught it, the apostles taught it. If a man dies, shall he live again? That's the question Job asked. That's the question that millions are asking tonight, and the answer from the Bible is a resounding yes. Yes. There is a life after death.